Okay, let's quickly talk about APGAR scores. I promise to keep this video as short as possible. Um, an APGAR score is simply a measurement for the clinician to assess a newborn at one minute and typically at five minutes. Uh, a good APGAR score is anything seven or above. Typically, uh, clinicians don't give the perfect 10 out of 10. It's out of 10, by the way. Uh, typically, you don't give a 10 out of 10 because no baby's perfect. Um, and what happens if a baby uh, suddenly collapses or dies and you give them a 10, well, that's just bad luck. Uh, 7 out of 10 or above is an excellent APGAR score. Typically, when they're 4 below, below 4, you're starting to worry. Um, that's not a very good um, indicator for life. So, what does APGAR stand for? Well, we've got appearance, pulse, grimace, activity, and respirations. All right, so this is what APGAR stands for, appearance, pulse, grimace, activity, and respirations. And I said that there's a total score of 10. So for each category, you have a zero, a one, and a two score possible. So I'm just going to move that up a little. You have a zero, a one, and a two score possible. So, for each category, let me quickly go through what each uh, scoring criteria is. For appearance, what you're looking for is you're looking for blue versus a pink, a cyanotic versus an adequate arterial perfusion. So, blue. Let's see if I can get a better marker here. So, if they're blue, if they're cyanotic, both on their trunk and their extremities, then you're going to give them a zero. Uh, if, let's say they're pink centrally, if they're pink in their core, but in their peripheries and their arms and legs they're blue, then you're going to give them a score of one. So they're half and half. And if they're pink all over, it means their perfusion is going to be adequate, meaning you're going to give them a score of two. Pulse. Pulse is going to be pulseless. If they do not have a pulse, you give them a score of zero. If their pulse is less than 100 beats per minute, then you'll give them a score of 1. And if it's greater than 100, then you'll give them a score of 2. Grimace. Grimace is going to be the newborn's reaction. If they lay flaccid and they do not respond to stimuli, such as a sternal rub or flicking their toe or any other noxious stimuli that a newborn should not like, if they don't react, you're going to give them so no reaction, you're going to give them a score of zero. So no reaction. Let's say they let out a weak cry, uh, they slightly withdraw. If you're, if you're flicking their foot and they slowly withdraw it, then you'll give them a score of one. So a slow reaction or an inadequate reaction. But they still do react to a stimuli. So a slow reaction. Uh, let's say you're, you're bothering that newborn you're doing a noxious stimuli to them, and they pull away, or they react in some way, um, that would be a two. So full reaction, full expected reaction. Next we've got activity. Activity is a very subjective category as well. Uh, while pulse, and it's either 100 or it's not. Uh, activity, you're going to look at uh, their, their tone, their, their uh, flexion and extension. If there is if they lay their limp, they would have an, ex, an activity of zero. So I'll say the limp. Uh, let's say that they're partially flexed, then you would have a score of one. If they're in partial extension and partial flexion, uh, then you would give them a score of one, so some flexion. Anything of strong flexion, if they're flexing all their extremities and, and they're moving and they're flexing, then you're going to give them a score of two. So flexion. That's going to be your key. Lastly, you've got respirations. Uh, if, they, if they don't have any strong respirations, if there's no cry, if there's nothing going on, uh, then you're going to give them a zero. If they have a weak cry, if they have very weak respirations, you're going to give them a score of one. And if they are crying like mad, that's good. That's going to earn them a score of two on the voice, uh, thus winning the contest of the half score. So, full cry.
And there you go. So you have a possible score out of 10, minimum score of zero. Um, anything below a four, you're starting to worry, you need immediate medical treatment. Anything above a seven, excellent.